Hey guys, and welcome to this month's GPU crisis update, the series where we talk about some of the most important topics that are going to affect GPU pricing and availability. So you can determine whether this month is going to be potentially a good month of you buying a GPU or another complete write off like most months seem to be. So this is the month of September and we've actually been doing this since like June or July. So I'm going to leave the full playlist in the video description for you to check out if you want to see the historical background. There's also some really fun vloggy videos mixed in there too. So definitely check that out. But this month we're going to be talking about recent news that could positively or negatively affect GPU pricing and availability, covering Bitcoin and Ethereum pricing, NVIDIA's light hash rate becoming partially unlocked, the 6600 XT release, and about half a million GPUs that could be hitting the used market very soon. And stay tuned to the end because I'm also going to talk about the most likely way that you're going to be able to get a GPU at the lowest MSRP that you see online. Let me explain. So let's start with the most laughable topic of this month. And I say laughable because this was meant to have a really positive impact on the GPU market and availability, but it kind of just didn't. It all fell into place exactly how everybody thought it would. So this is the release of the Radeon 6600 XT on the 11th of August. It was meant to release for an MSRP of $380, whatever. Do you, do you know what MSRP means? I don't know. I thought I did, but I don't anymore. But AMD and their board partners said that there was going to be high stock and availability of this card on launch day but that just wasn't the case, was it? As we all saw coming, and even to this day on the 2nd of September. And if you go onto Newegg, of course they're being scalped for way over double their MSRP. And if you go onto Best Buy, we have one example that you can buy and it looks to be that you can only buy it in store and for whoever's lucky enough to be within 250 miles of that GPU. And on top of that, Honey thinks that this specific GPU has increased in price by 13% in the last 30 days. So stock pricing availability is just as we thought it would be, a complete mess. And to top that off, if you did want to buy one right now on the used market, you're looking at $600, buy now, $5 shipping. If you saw buy now, lowest price plus shipping. So well done AMD, well done board partners. It was exactly as you thought it would be. High stock, high availability, we're all able to get one. So it's a shame because this news was meant to be really good for the entire GPU market in terms of pricing and availability because some people that if they can get the 6600 XT would essentially stop them being buyers of other graphics cards that you might want. And it's just sad to see something like this go so obviously sideways. Everybody saw this coming. And now for our next topic, which is actually really interesting and might have a significantly bigger impact than most people think. About half a million RX 570s could potentially be hitting the used market, as the Chinese government ordered the return of 485,000 Radeon RX 570 8GB cards back to the mining operation Genesis Mining. These cards were recently being held by their hosting provider as collateral for a dispute in payment. But why should you care? Because these are a previous generation of a previous generation in a market segment that you may not be purchasing in, in a country that you probably probably don't live in. Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason being that these GPUs have been held ransom since 2018. And within that time, China has actually banned crypto mining within many of their provinces. So Genesis Mining only really have two options. Two, one, move them out of China to a different mining operation. And option number two is that they sell them on the used market. Now half a million GPUs or even a fraction of that could have a global impact on pricing. And saving our negative topics till last, we have MB Miner unlocking the RTX 3000 light hash rate from about 50% to 70%. Now, this is a really important topic because MB Miner, which is one of the most popular pieces of software for mining Ethereum, the most popular coin for mining on a GPU, that is a glimpse into the future. If you can unlock it from 50% to 70%, the chances are you can unlock it even further. I'm not saying that it will get up to 100%, but there's a much higher probability that it will now than it would a month ago before that unlock had happened. And also it's worth bearing in mind that that 20% increase from 50% to 70% is about a 40% profit increase for light hash rate cards. Because remember that a percentage of a percentage is not the same as a percentage of a whole. But on top of all of that, also bear in mind that Ethereum is not the only coin that you can mine on a GPU. And this light hash rate limiter is an Ethereum algorithm limiter only. So bear that in mind. Speaking of Ethereum, let's check out the crypto market over the past month, see if we can see any any positive or negative trends and see how that also relates to the GPU use market right now. 
So let me show you how crypto pricing has been set over the past month, and then we'll have a look at GPU use market data to see how that's been reacting to it. Because remember, if Bitcoin and Ethereum increase in price, GPUs become more valuable. When GPUs become more valuable, there's much more competition when trying to purchase them. So let's take a look at that data. So firstly, let's take a look at Ethereum. As it currently stands, as of September 2nd, it is $3,785. It has seen a huge increase over the past couple of days, actually. It's almost 20% between August 30th and Wednesday, September 1st. But as of last month, when we last did this video, it has increased by over 50% from 2,500-ish. It has increased by $1,282 roughly, which is a staggering increase for Ethereum. And then if we take a look at Bitcoin, it currently stands at $49,819. And it has actually seen peaks over 50,000, which is getting close to what it was at its highest peak ever. So that's kind of crazy. And when compared to last month, which was $38,190, it's seen an increase of over 25% at $11,630, which again has been a staggering increase for Bitcoin. And both Bitcoin and Ethereum actually have seen this increase as of July 20th, which we discussed in last month's video. It has been rapidly increasing for both Bitcoin and again, if we go onto the year's data and even more so for Ethereum as a percentage. So then the hypothesis is as Bitcoin and especially Ethereum increase in value, so do GPUs because they become more profitable to mine off. So let's take a look at our use market data. So TechSpot have released their August GPU market update where they've taken the average sale price of the third week of that month. And what I've done is incorporate it in this spreadsheet, which I have running along the Bitcoin right here and Ethereum pricing right here, taken from MarketWatch over the past year and three months now. So Bitcoin and Ethereum pricing is on the left-hand side of this chart. And on the right-hand side, we have pricing for use GPUs. Here we have the RTX 3090, here we have the RTX 3080, 3070 here and 3060 right here. So over the past year, as we saw Bitcoin increase and then Ethereum increase too, we saw them both take a hard plummet at this point. And we saw the GPU use market react to this. We saw two consecutive months of sharp declines in pricing on the GPU use market. Now, this is the new data as of this point right here. We've seen from the 20th of July, as we spoke about in the last video, we saw a sharp increase in both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we were speculating that that would have an impact on GPU use market pricing. And as we can see from TechSpot's data, that does actually confirm this. In the past three months, this is the first time that we've seen increase in pricing for 3090, 3080, and 3070. Interestingly enough, the 3060 Ti has still seen a decrease in pricing, but definitely not as much as before. And I would speculate if Bitcoin and Ethereum pricing continues to trend upwards, this graph will look very different as of next month. And we'll continue to trend upwards as GPUs become more valuable, they become harder to actually source, and it becomes more and more difficult for the average gamer trying to buy a GPU at a reasonable price. So now that we've had a look at TechSpot's data overlaid against Bitcoin and Ethereum over the past year and a bit, and we're starting to see an increase right here, let's see if we can confirm that against used market data as it currently stands as of the 2nd of September, and compare against last month's live market data too. So this is TerraPeak, our market analysis tool where we can compare average sale price of 3080. The 3080 has been our reference point throughout this video series, so we can sort of track the pricing of it over the last few months. So last month we did a query of the past 90 days, what the average sale price of an RTX 3080 was, and that result came back as $1,884.15. So we have seen a decrease in that value. The average sale price of a 3080 over the past 80 days has decreased by, what's that, about $130-ish. And if we change that value to the past 30 days, as we've been doing over this video series, the last month that we did this, it came back as $1,642. This is $1,683. So the past 30 days, average sale price of a 3080 has increased by about $40, which is the first time that we've seen this in the video series. And then most importantly, an RTX 3080 being sold in the last seven days. Now the last result was 1,631, and it is coming back as 1,694. That's an increase of about $60. Now that's not good 
for people trying to buy an RTX 3080 right now. Now bear in mind that the RTX 3080 has been our reference point because of its popularity, but I would also speculate that 3090, 3070, etc., would see similar increases, and if they haven't already, they probably will. And this is bad news for gamers, because as I mentioned before, if the price increases on the scalp market, there's going to be more competition on retailers such as Newegg, Best Buy, etc., because there's more money to be made by flipping it. And the reason why it's more profitable to flip it is because it's more profitable to mine on it. So it's kind of gamers are just being hit from every direction, which is really kind of sad. So let's take a look right here at how much we can buy an RTX 3080 for, as we have done in the previous videos. So RTX 3080, buy it now, lowest price plus shipping. Here, we're going to say that that from Malaysia at way below other people's asking is going to be a scam. Correct, that's typical eBay to just delete the page, I guess. So the lowest price for an RTX 3080, this one's a light hash rate which is $1,400. And I believe that that has remained pretty much unchanged from the past month. I could find an RTX 3080 light hash rate, exactly the same card actually, for $1,400. The card that we did find is sort of another reference point for last month's video, is what I assume to be a non-light hash rate card. Because as you'll see down here, a lot of these will say light hash rate, LHR, LHR. And we came across one that didn't. Now that was at $1,475. Same as this, this one's about what? $5, $15 more? Now I would speculate to say that this is light hash rate and so was the one from last month. It was also light hash rate. So if you're looking to buy the cheapest RTX 3080 on eBay, it looks to be that the pricing has remained pretty much unchanged, although the average sale price of an RTX 3080 has increased. So I said at the beginning of this video that I want to talk to you about the best way to buy a GPU at the lowest MSRP that you see online. Now the reason why that's so specific, lowest MSRP that you see online, is because MSRP has completely gone haywire over the past year. Because the lowest MSRP that you'll see online for hypothetically a 3080 is $699. Now that is only for the NVIDIA Founders Editions card. And the reason why it's only for that card is because that's what NVIDIA sets for that card specifically. Other board partners set their pricing for their cards differently. And we've seen an increase in components. We've seen an increase in import tariffs. And I will be doing a video updating you all on why MSRP is so messed up and who's to blame really. So what that means is that the MSRP that you see here for each product here is for the Founders Edition and Founders Edition only. And the likelihood that any board partner card is going to be priced that aggressively is incredibly slim. And I don't think it will be throughout the lifetime of the RTX 3000 series. So how do you get one of these GPUs at one of these extremely compelling price points? Now I've mentioned this Discord and this channel in the past, it's still not sponsored by them, but they've also allowed me to get another GPU at an incredibly compelling price. So I'm gonna give them another shout out here. So this is the Fix It, Fix It, Fix It live stream that will actually have camping suggestions for Best Buy. Now, as many of you know, Best Buy is the only place in North America to get the Founders Editions GPU. And if you're outside of North America, they do actually have other territories that are in their Discord. All of this will be linked in the video description here. But the reason why I'm giving these guys a shout out again this time specifically is because many of you know that there was a Best Buy drop at the end of August that I went to, and I'll have that video linked up there for you. It's actually a really fun vloggy video where I managed to get an RTX 3080 for $699. Now, it did require me to stay there for 17 hours, which if you guys can do, I would highly suggest it. It was a lot of fun. But the reason why I'm giving these guys a shout out because of that specifically is because I first heard about it as of the 13th of August on this post right here significantly earlier than any other place online. So if you do want to know when the next one's happening, far into the future, as far into the future as I can reasonably give you, I would highly suggest joining this Discord and staying in tune with the server announcements there, whilst also monitoring the live stream right here. And that will give you, I believe, the best chance to buy an RTX 3000 series GPU at the lowest MSRP that you see online. So to sum up this video, it has been mostly bad news. That doesn't mean that there's not hope on the horizon, but for gamers looking to buy GPUs for their gaming rigs, it's, it's a pretty rough time right now. So get subscribed to make sure that you don't miss next month's GPU analysis and check out another video here on the channel. We've done a few fun videos recently that are worth checking out. Otherwise guys, a like is always appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.